Hey guys, what's up, Azores? I'd like to quickly go over a few problems with Sony Vegas, so don't get too excited. First of all, I'm going to talk about audio clipping. What audio clipping is, is when your audio output exceeds zero decibels and it sounds distorted. I'm going to make an example of this really quick. It's going to be really loud, so just bear with me. And that was an exaggeration, but I've heard it before. Um, people just boost their audio levels ridiculous amounts and it sounds really distorted and they have no clue why. Um, one way to do a quick spot check is to find areas that you know are loud in your video. And we'll just go to View, Mixer. Then when we play it, we'll watch these levels up here. And they go over zero and they go into the red. That's not good. So let's we'll lower our bus or our master volume. And now it only goes over a little bit. Um, if it's just going over like 0 0.1, 0 0.2, I wouldn't really worry about it unless you are uh, me <laughs> and you're obsessed with audio. Okay. So now I'd like to talk about splitting your audio. Um, I've noticed with Sony Vegas when you split your audio, if I was to hit left and right on the arrow keys right now, I can't really s split the audio directly at the drop. I'm kind of stuck right before it or a little bit after. But one thing we can do is go to options, then turn off quantize to frames. And then we can click on the drop and it'll split right on that drum beat. Then when we split it, there's another problem that happens. That. It fades the audio in and out at the split. This is not good. So if we hit Ctrl Z to undo, and we go into options, and we turn off quick fade audio edits. Now it just splits the audio simply. Another thing about audio I'd like to talk about is when we automatically crossfade our clips, it crossfades them in a way that if I were to play it, it would clip for no reason, apparently. But that's because it's not a linear crossfade, it has curve to it. So let's right click on the blue lines and we'll select the first one, a linear crossfade, and now it won't clip. So just know that when you're crossfading audio. Say Control Z a couple times. Okay. Now let's get two clips right by each other. Now these clips don't have any ghosting on them, but say they did. What we can do, actually I'll just turn on force resample really quickly for each of them. Now say you have a bunch of clips that have resampling on them and you don't want to have to right click each clip individually because you made a bunch of splits. What we can do is we can go to the selection edit tool then we click on the video track in an empty space and just drag all the way over all of our video clips and then we go to edit, switches, disable resample and that will simultaneously disable resample for all of the clips we had selected. One last thing is when we do slow-mo Every time we stretch a clip, and there's audio with it, instead of having it sound all echoey, we just right click on it, go to properties, then lock to stretch, and all that does is it shifts the pitch to match our time stretch. So now it'll sound lower pitched, but we won't have any echo. One last thing I'd like to mention is if the clip has a lot of background noise and you want to get rid of it, so like this, there's a lot of grenades and screaming going on in the background of this clip. Maybe no screaming, but still grenades. What we can do is we can click on the clip, hit U, then we'll split the audio right before the gunshot and a little bit after the gunshot. Then we lower the audio levels of everything but the gunshot. Then we will get our selection tool out, click and drag over the whole clip, and hit G for group. So now they move together, but now it just sounds we all we hear is the gunshot. It may sound kind of weird separately, but it sounds much better in context of the video. So let's hear that. And before we had this, 
You may like this better, but you don't have to do it if you don't want to. So here we go. I just like to have the gunshots separate because it lets you focus on the music more. Anyways, I know this tutorial hasn't been too exciting. And if you guys don't already know, the reason I'm doing kind of lame tutorials at first is because I don't want to go into some big massive effect that people will just copy over and over and over again if they don't have a basic understanding of these programs. So be expecting something exciting in the near future. Thank you and goodbye.